Our team coverage continues tonight in Charlotte County. Residents there are also having trouble reaching loved ones in the devastated region. The community there is also taking action to help the victims. And SNN Local News 6 reporter Tom Lloyd has that story. It's business as usual at the DMV in Charlotte County. But for Dundee Gwynn, a licensing clerk, it's a hard day. Gwynn is Haitian and most of his family live in Port-au-Prince. He's frustrated and scared because he hasn't heard from his mother and grandmother since the earthquake struck. Fear went through my mind first, worried. Then, you know, <clears throat> after a while, I kind of just, you know, leave it all in God's hands. Gwen says it's hard to see the pictures of the country he grew up in reduced to ruins, but the pain of not hearing from his family is the worst. As of right now, um, all the telephone poles are down. So I, I wasn't able to get in touch with my mom or, or any other family member. So, but I keep trying though. It's gotta be nerve wracking. Yeah. I wish I could just take a plane and go there right now. The same can be said for Luke Vincent. Vincent is the pastor at Redeemer Baptist Church in Port Charlotte. Vincent says most of his family lives in Port Charlotte, but he still has a few family members living in Haiti. The Haitian church he presides over is working to send relief packages to the area. We are talking about and see if we can get together and find a way to send something to those people suffering now. For right now, all the Haitian community can do is pray and wait. Sometimes, you know, you can't always just, you know, try to do more than you're able to do. You know, sometimes you just got to let everything go and leave it in God's hands, like I said. From Charlotte County, Tom Lloyd, SNN Local News 6. The death toll in Haiti is estimated to be at 100,000, and it is continuing to rise.